Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.16.5. Obviously Forge allows you to get all kinds of awesome Minecraft mods from things like just enough items to biomes of plenty to botania. They are all Forge mods and oddly enough they're all updated to 1.16.5 pretty much out of the box. Now we're not going to show you how to install mods in this video but you do need Forge to install mods and we have a video linked to the end of this one that will show you how to install mods if that makes sense. So step one is getting Forge which you're watching right now. Step two is going to be the next video which you can find at the end of this one as well as in the description down below that will show you how to actually add mods to Minecraft. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome mod tutorials and mod showcases and things like that. If you love Minecraft mods this is the channel for you. But first and foremost we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to start your very own Minecraft server and play mod in Minecraft with your friends Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to go. Not only can you set up a Forge server and add your own mods to it at Apex you can also one click install hundreds upon hundreds of mod packs that you can play with your friends very quickly and very easily. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you are looking to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. They are the best place for vanilla and modded Minecraft servers out there. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting Forged. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to actually take you to our text tutorial for Forge. Some people say I talk too fast, and we get it. So because of that, we have these text tutorials that you can go through at your own pace, kind of walk through them and all that stuff. However, if you're going through the video tutorial, you can come up here and click on this green download Forge button. That's what you want to do if you're going through with us with the video. Otherwise, you can go to this to text tutorial at your own pace. So click this green download Forge button. That's going to take us to Forge's official website where right now it still says MC 1.16.4 here. Why is that? Because 1.16.5 is still in beta. So if it doesn't say 1.16.5 here, what you want to do is come over here to the left hand side, click on the plus 1.16 and then click on 1.16.5. Then you'll see MC 1.16.5 here, and we're in the right place. Now what we want to do is come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That's then going to tag us off to Add Focus, where you want to stop, stop, don't do anything on this, stop, don't click any button, what are you doing? I said stop, stop, and just wait on this page for six to seven seconds, and then up in the top right, a red skip button will appear. The only thing that you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left, Forge will go ahead and begin downloading. So as you can see in the bottom left, Forge is now started downloading. It does say Forge-1.16.5 in the title, so we're going to go ahead and click keep there. On Mozilla Firefox, it may pop up in the center of your screen where you need to save the file. But again, the only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. Then as long as Forge is in the title, you're safe to save or keep the file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop we do have Forge. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries, it's going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, then go ahead and type in downloads right like so. You have this downloads a file folder, go ahead and click on that, and in here you will find Forge. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. There we go. Now, once Forge is on your desktop, we can start with installing it. Most people should be able to right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But if you don't have that, or if your Java or like Forge icon does not look like mine, it doesn't look like this Java logo. So if you don't have open with here and then Java, or if your Java just looks different and you want it to look the same as mine, let me show you how to fix that. Well, the first thing you need to do is download Java. You need Java installed locally on your computer to be able to run Minecraft mods, including install Forge, and you can find our in-depth guide to get Java for Minecraft mods and servers it's the same version in the description below. So you can find this in the description below. It just says download Java, and this will walk you through getting the correct version of Java for Minecraft. Simple and easy. It's three steps. Once you've got that, you should be able to open with Java, but just in case you can't, you may need to run the jar fix. This is also linked in the description down below and once you're here it's another three step tutorial where you just download and run a program and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java once again basically linking them up. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop we finally do have Forge and it should look similar to this if you've downloaded Java and ran the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. Now it's going to go ahead and open up the Forge Mod System Installer. So as you can see, Mod System Installer, Forge, and then it says 1.16.5. Make sure Install Client is selected, and then click OK. And now it's going to download, do some things, set up everything that it needs to do to get Forge installed in Minecraft 1.16.5. The only reason this may not work at this point is if you have never played Minecraft 1.16.5 without any mods, no Optifine or anything, you need to just go play Minecraft 1.16.5, come back, and then this will work. 
You don't even have to play it, by the way, you just open it to the main menu, but it needs to download the 1.16.5 files for Forge to work. However, we've done that already, so we're just going to go ahead and open up, right like so. Building processors, it's finishing. I don't know why it always kind of sits at 100%, even though it's not actually done. As you can see, it's still doing stuff. And then eventually it comes up to successfully install Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.5. Awesome stuff. We can go ahead and click OK there, and it closes out of that. You have Forge installed now. The like that, that's it. Basically, the hard part of installing Forge is over. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. Now, don't hit that play button. Watch yourself. You need to slow down and make sure that the Forge profile is selected. Now, ours is down here in the bottom left. If yours isn't, though, go ahead and click on that, and then find it in this like drop-down box area here. Now, if you don't have Forge here, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go ahead and click on the Installations tab at the top of Minecraft. Then, you want to go ahead and make sure that you have all four of these boxes right here checked. Releases, Snapshots, Historical, and Modded. A lot of times when you click on Modded, right, it'll make Forge appear. If that's the case, go ahead and hover over it and click Play. But if it still doesn't appear, go ahead and click on this plus New button here. Then you can name this net whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm going to name it that because that is our own incredible Minecraft 1.16.5 server. We have Grief Protected Survival, Medieval Survival, 30 Custom Quest, Player Based Economy, Aquatic Survival slash Shop Based Economy, MCMO, amazing community there. And then we have Skyblock that is brand spanking new. It is truly incredible with daily rewards, custom storyline based quest, custom challenges, incredible custom islands. Amazing generators. You will love it. Minions. There's so much there. I can hardly name it here. Go play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Over 200 people online every single day. Once you've got your name in there, though, we can go ahead and click on this version drop down. Then we want to find release 1.16.5 Forge. Mine's toward the top. You have to scroll down a ways to find it. I have seen it at the very, very, very bottom of this version list before, but ours is right up here towards the top. Release 1.16.5 Forge. Click on that. I'm going to change my resolution because we're making a video and I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. But once you've got this set up, we can go ahead and click the green create button. Now we have this new profile, playdowbreakdowncraft.com. It has 1.16.5-forge under it, so we can go ahead and hover over it and click the green play button. You'll then get this warning. Basically, you're about to play a modded version of Java. That's what it's about to say, as you can see, Java additional installation that has been modified. Well, you're installing Minecraft mods, right? So, of course, it's modified. That's what you want. So, go ahead and click, I understand the risk. Don't show me this warning again. You know what you're doing. It's okay. And then click play. Now, it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Forge installed. Boom. There you go. Now, at this point, you want to install mods. I get that. So we have a video that is going to be at the end of this video. It's going to be on your screen as well as in the description down below, which is how to install mods on, on Minecraft, right? So it's the mod installation part of this tutorial. Now that we've showed you how to get Forge, which is kind of step one, step two is getting the mods installed. And we're going to show you how to do that in a separate video. We're going to show you how to get multiple mods, basically how to install more than one mod at one time, how to make you know mods kind of work together. All of that stuff, it's going to be covered there. But as you can see, Forge is in beta. If this isn't at the top, that's okay. You can still verify that you are playing Forge in the bottom left, where it will say Forge in the version of Forge you're playing. Then we also have the Mods button here on the Minecraft main menu. Any mods you do install will install here. Obviously, now we just have Minecraft Vanilla and Forge as the only mods installed because, well... We don't have any mods installed. We've not went through that video yet. So there you have it. That is Forge. That is how you can get it installed. It's kind of the step-by-step -step process of getting Forge set up. It's super simple and super easy. I feel like a lot of people overcomplicate it. All you got to do is basically download and click install. That's it. But the hardest part is getting that Forge file right back here, this Forge file right here, open because, you know, you have to have Java downloaded and stuff. And that's why we have those, you know, helpful tutor tutorials for you. But there you have it. That is how you can download and install Forge. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, we have amazing grief protected survival, custom skyblock. It's the best skyblock out there. Come play with us. You will love it. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more awesome modded Minecraft and Minecraft server content. And I'm out. Peace.